residents of Boonsburg. We come to you again from the secret location. Ooh. Protecting my identity, as always. But I still have more news to share with you. For people who... Detractors, my detractors out there, who are very thick in the head, it seems, that can't understand how I would be able to put a car inside of a Boonsburg egg, because they're saying, how would, he, how would the Egyptians have lifted, you know, a, a brick like that, or a car like that, or something? It's, it, fools. You are fools. Because you saw it in this position, you actually thought I had to lift it that high up. Well, let me show you how Boonsburg's egg, eggs works. They, they work very simple manner. If you simply, bear with me a moment, you simply just take the brick out, okay? If the pyramid builders, all they would have to do is simply just take, get the rock however they want it, get it to its lowest point, they only have to prop it up a tiny bit and get it inside the egg, you see? It's just a tiny, small amount. I mean, you're not talking any super high amounts. Now, gosh knows, they got them on sleds, as everybody else is thinking. Just getting it somewhere like this once you get it inside the egg, you just lift the egg, you know, you're wrapping it around, you whoop, like that, and it's barely off the ground if you, if you were to, to go like that, you know, and then all they have to do is, is simply throw the counterweight, which I don't expect your tractors, I don't want to hear you going to tell me, oh, he's got metal, they didn't have metal. Of course they didn't have metal like this. This is just to show you that it's possible. You can do it with wood, which I've done. You can do it with rocks and sand and many, many different things. But as you can see, it's not hard to raise a Boonsburg egg rock up inside of a Boonsburg egg. And then from there on, though this isn't in the correct balance, it's going to be able to move quite simply. Now, I have here other, other Boonsburg eggs that I made that follow the golden ratio, which I was talking about, I've talked about on another video, where it shows how to make the golden, from the golden ratio, how to make a Boonsburg egg through nature, and that you keep moving the X, the square, showing how you take it, you take that square, you move it to there, then you match the ratio on, so that the two are mirroring in a sense, and then you remove this part, expand it, fill it in, then you put another one up here, and then you flip this from this to this, so that you have a double. Then you do the same with the double here, and then this is the perfect right here. This is the perfect one. I then laid my my blueprint of Boonsburg eggs as I built them on top, and the shape ends up matching exactly, and the box unit is just a little off. Well, what I've done then is. I've made Boonsburg eggs from that one here to show you how it would be, to, sh to see if they would work. And then this one, which is based down here, which I just simply put the box around where it would have been in, in, the, in nature, the, the way this one shows it. And the point is, they still work. And they actually they work quite well. Now, it's a sm this is approximately 25% weight. You could go up to probably 33%, but it wouldn't be necessary. And it doesn't matter. As long as if this is a 10,000-pound rock, then you basically have 3,300 pound, pounds up top. And the same, here's, here's the more perfect, perfect version. The, as I was explaining, it's a very simple process. Now, for people who can't grasp the concept that how did they roll them up hills? Excuse me. How did they ever roll them up hills? I mean, any fool can see. It's quite simple. See, if you simply go like this, okay, we now have a hill. First of all, I've never seen, you know, something that's perfectly round be able to sit on a hill and not roll away, okay? Um, and I'm going to get some string here to show... Well, mother did this earlier for me, but I apologize. Um, it comes out somewhere here. Excuse me. 
I'm gonna get this in the, up here. In somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Well, if they simply at the pyramids on the, up on an incline, simply had a piece of string, not a string, a, a rope, and they simply went like this and held the bottom, this thing will roll straight uphill. And it's quite simple how it's done. It's not a hard thing. And there are points where it actually, it's a lot easier. You know, there's points as you can get some momentum going. And if I were to simply go and, and you know, counterweight even more, I mean, it'll start to fall up the hill on its own in a sense if I do extra weight. Well, I can't do it there. But I, you can't do that with perfectly round. I mean, this is, this is on an incline. And, and the, the point is that they work going uphill, they work going downhill. You have control over Boomsburg eggs. Now, to show you the difference, I'll show you something perfectly round. The grandfather's bowling ball. And, and it's... It, 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 you know, obviously there's a big difference between... And, and this... Sitting there, I mean... Isn't it obvious that it's not based on its outer shape, but its inner innerness of what's happening? So, for people out there who who are believers, I thank you for talking about the golden ratio and share this knowledge. And you can see how it works, the inner workings. Oh, and last but not least, before I forget, in the book Engineering the Pyramids by Mr. Dick Perry, he goes and uses a rolling way of, of, of making the, moving the stones at the pyramids. And his, his manner is, is quite interesting, though I personally disagree, where he simply, they found like sections, like if I would just go like this, these type of sections, he puts around a stone just like whoop like that around the stone it makes a perfect circle and they roll it up the hill so he's already done all the mathematics for a 5,000 ton 5,000 pound block and what I see is what they found at the pyramids of those pieces are simply not what he sees them as as pieces used to to put under the stones because the pieces he's showing that were found were too small but as I believe they're pieces that, if you notice, if I simply were to be using the, the pulling the stone uphill, what I would have, excuse me, what I would have is somewhere like, I don't know how it's going, um, but it would be, It would be like this. Well, what happens is the stone would cut the rock. Uh, you know, the, the stone would cut, I mean, the rope. So I personally believe the flimsy things that were found at the pyramids are simply caps to put on the rocks to, that are like baskets to keep the rope in a gully and keep it in an around thing so it never cuts into the edge of a rock as you're rolling it and pulling it uphill. That's what I believe. And anybody who doubts me... He's done all the mathematics for a 5,000 pound block. I have built, ready to go, Boonsburg eggs that will do the same size block, 5,000 pound block, and he's already done the mathematics for a perfectly round. If there's a college or a university out there who would like to test my eggs, I would be perfectly happy to send them to you, and we will see. Just let me know.